Hi viewers, uh, this is the solution to the uh, problem I posted early this morning. Um, in this kind of problem, there are things that you need to do before you can start. Don't forget that whenever you have cube roots in a question, cube roots, don't forget that it is the same thing as the number raised to the power of 1 over 3. If you have square root, it means the number raised to the power of half. So in this one, you see we have cube root, meaning we are taking this, isn't it? Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to take the cube root of both sides. This is cube root, this is 3. So since it is in cube root, we are going to take the cube of both sides in order to eliminate. Now, if we have 1 over 3 and we take the cube, this 3 will cancel 3. If you have the fourth root, we are going to take the fourth multiplication. You understand? So that the 4 will cancel 4. If it is the square root, we are going to take the square of both sides so that this will cancel this. Now, with this, now we know that we are going to take the cube of both sides because this can also be written as s raised to the power of 3 minus 4 raised to the power of 3 all over s square plus 4x plus 16 equals to this is the same thing as putting this 3 here as 1 over 3 now equals to 3 so now if you are taking the cube root, it means that we are going to have x raised to the power of 3 minus 4 raised to the power of 3 all over s square plus 4x plus 16. Don't forget that we have they are all in cube root. Now we are taking the cube. Then we are also taking the cube here. So this we cancel this. Now we now have s raised to the power of 3 minus 4 raised to the power of 3 all over s square plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 3 raised to the power 3 means 3 times 3 times 3. That will give us 27. Isn't it? Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to to factorize let's take the uh, the law of the law of difference of cubes which says that a raised to the power of 3 minus b raised to the power of 3 is the same thing as a minus b then a square the opposite of this sign is plus. We have plus AB plus B square. That is the formula. Now, in our question, don't forget we have S raised to the power of 3 minus 4 raised to the power of 3. So, meaning this is our A, this is our B. So, our A is X. We have X minus B, which is 4. Then, our A square, that will be S square. Our AB will be S times 4. That will be 4X. Then our B square will be 4 square. That is 16. So therefore, we have X minus 4. S square plus 4X plus 16. So that is that will be equals to S minus S is power 3 minus 4 is power 3. Now, having got this, the next thing we are going to do now is to substitute into the uh, equation, which is s raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power of 3 all over s square plus 4x 
plus 16 is equals to 27. You see now, this is equals to this. So now we are going to substitute. So anywhere we see s to power 3 minus 4 to power 3, we are going to be putting this. Now, let's go there. Now we have s minus 4, open bracket, close it. Then x squared plus 4x plus 16 all over s squared plus 4x plus 16 is equals to 27. You see now we are factorized completely. So this we cancel this. Then we now have s minus 4 equals to 27. So you can collect the light time. You send the minus 4 out. It becomes 27 plus 4 and that will give us 31. So if you substitute 31 into the question, you see that the answer will be equals to 3. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.